What is going on, wonderful world of YouTube? Welcome to the channel. And for those of you who've been here for a while, welcome back to the channel. Man, it's been a while since I posted a video. I mean, when I say a while, I mean more like a week. I've been busy riding Project Pit Bike, man, because I went ahead and just got it bolted up, mocked up, cleaned up, and I got it to where I wanted it to, to where I can ride. I still need to get the regular or original gas tank for this bike and another seat, but I just used an industrial zip tie and the, the CRF style tank does bolt to the frame. It just sits a lot higher, so it makes the plastics look funny. But I've been riding the heck out of this thing and I've been enjoying it and I'm glad that the project came together. Now I still will be modding this bike out and we'll be putting more stuff on it, but that's not what today's video is about because sadly, I traded the CRF 250. Yes, Project CRF is gone, but that's okay because we will have another big bike on the channel here soon. But I want to welcome you guys, or I want to introduce you guys to the Apollo 125 because that is our next project. We will be turning this Apollo 125 bike, which could definitely use some love, into a full-blown mod race bike. That is correct. That will be my complete race bike. That way Project Pit Bike can be just a fun bike to go mess around with on trails and all kinds of stuff. I still will ride it at the track. I just want this Apollo to be my race bike. All right, so let's take a look at this thing. It does have the inverted forks, which Project Pit Bike does not. Um, it looks like somebody's upgraded the brake rotor and stuff on there. Uh, front tire doesn't look too bad, but this thing is gonna get the full works. It's gonna get everything in it. Also, it was a stunt bike apparently because it has a 12 bar welded onto the subframe, which isn't no big deal because whoever did the wheels actually made it really clean. So we can go ahead and cut this off and then grind that down and stuff so when we're painting the frame and all that we have nothing to worry about this bike has definitely seen better days uh, back tire and stuff trash the back wheels missing some spokes but for the most part it's all there the motor has compression i do have the engine cover sitting on the work table over there it's got the steel tank but i will be upgrading everything on this bike everything will be upgraded i, I mean some of the parts and stuff are going to be, be able to be saved but I really wanted it for a base platform to start a new build, and that's what we're gonna do. But like I said, for the most part, everything is all there. Pretty dope. Um, I'm not too sure what I'm gonna be using on it, all the stuff that I'm gonna be keeping, but I know I've been looking at parts and I've been looking at stuff. Um, like I said, the motor has compression. All it's lacking is carburetor and hooking up that and getting some gas to it. And she should crank up, hopefully. Uh, we will be going through the motor, cleaning it up, changing the oil and doing some stuff like that. But in the long run, I'm hoping to put either a 140 all the way through 160 on there. Um, either a 140 or 160. I'm not too sure about spending that kind of money on a Daytona 190, which would be nice. So if anybody has a Daytona 190 used that they want to sell me pretty cheap, let me know. But like I said, for the most part, this bike is pretty much complete, lacking plastics. Got to definitely get rid of this 12 bar. I don't know. I kind of like it, but this is going to be a race bike, so we can't have that. That's got to go. But yeah, man. There it is, that is the Apollo. And um, we're gonna do some breakdown today in this video. We're gonna break it down and get it all the way down to the bare frame like we always do to start out. And we will go from there. So we're making a little progress. Can't say it's too much progress because a lot of the stuff was already loose. We're getting the wiring and stuff taken off. This bike had an ignition, which would explain why the gas tank had a key in it. We're definitely getting rid of that and we're gonna get a basic wiring harness like we have on this one over here. Uh, hopefully everything will still plug up into the, uh, into the stator and stuff like that. But uh, yeah, so far, we're accumulating a pile full of parts. That darn 12 bar is really, 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 I don't know if it's bothering me or if I like it, because look at this. I can just see myself just oh, down the road, but no, no, it's coming off, and um, all that stuff's gonna get freshly painted up. The forks do have some paint and scuffs and stuff on them, 
I want to get those back to as gold as possible. So I'm going to have to figure out something to get that off. If you guys know something that will just get that off, let me know. Um, I will do some research and stuff on my own. Clamps, all that stuff's going to get painted. The bar mounts and stuff are going to get painted. Subframe, frame, swing arm. I don't know if I'm going to get another shock. The shock looks to be about pretty heavy duty. I like the fact that it's adjustable. Um, I don't know, is it a gas shock? Let's find out. Hmm, wonder if I can get that nitrogen filled. Pretty shabby. Yeah, let's continue to break this thing down. Let's get the motor out, get it over on the work table, get this thing down to bare frame and stuff and ready to clean up and to be painted. I want to get this build underway. So in order to do that, we got to keep breaking down. Yeah, we're accumulating parts. Bike is getting naked. Let's do it. On a serious note, those were the longest fender bolts I've ever seen in my life to take off on the front fender. It took forever. You guys see a time lapse, but literally, I spent like a minute and a half just unscrewing three bolts on the fender. Now I'm over here trying to get the motor bolts off, and surprisingly, this thing has a lot of motor mount bolts, which is good because that means it's going to be nice and rigid, it's going to be solid, and I don't have to worry about jumping in the air and losing my motor. The bad thing is, there's so many small spaces and parts on here that it's just cut city on all my hands. But we're gonna continue to work on this. I'm not gonna babble too much until we get everything broken down. I'll give you guys a breakdown of everything and then we'll go from there. making progress a little tired but we're making progress like I said some of the stuff is just really really hard to get to but I love how many supports this thing has for the engine that way if we were to throw some more power in there you know we have these up here we got that cradle mount down there uh, it bolts in from the foot pegs it also bolts in right in front of the swing arm so there's just lots and lots of support for this motor so if we do put more power in, like I said uh, it'll be nice rigid I mean the frame is like really dirty we'll probably make a video where we go over and clean everything up sand stuff down um, in the last video I skipped the painting process on that bike um, I just kind of got showed you guys the parts uh, I don't know if I'm gonna film the painting process at all on this but motor is out it is starting to look like a bare frame we gotta get the wheels off uh, I think I'm gonna take the wheels off and set it down on the swing arm and the forks and I'm gonna leave it right there for right now but we do have the motor out and we got her set up over there um, haven't really looked around on it too much I just know it does have compression it's real good it's not locked up so that should be able to be cleaned up and then uh, we should be able to use it for now until we get our other motor that we're gonna get for this sourced out but for now we're gonna finish taking off the wheels and stuff then I'm gonna clean up organize uh, set it down on the frame and do some more planning from there but for now, this is the build breakdown of Project Race Bike, because um, I'm not too sure what to call this. I just know that this is going to be our race bike, but we are making progress. We're getting dirty hands. Uh, it is cold as balls out in Texas right now. Really, really cold. Let's continue to work and get this done with. that's gonna do it right there we got this thing almost down the bare frame got to get that ignition thing out because we're definitely not using that uh, 
get our triples off, our forks off, the fork guards, swing arm, shock, rear brake caliper, which just will fall off. And it's got these four bolts right here. I already have the master cylinder loose. Take the brake pedal off with the uh, carter pin. But yeah, there it is. There is our build breakdown of the Apollo, which will soon be our Apollo mod race bike. This thing is gonna be legit. Can't wait to get the frame and stuff all cleaned up, painted up. Um, but yeah, it's bare. We got our wheels and everything stored over here. Definitely, probably won't be using those. Uh, it sucks that the front is a 12 and the rears are 15. I prefer both to be 15. So we're gonna figure that out. Uh, we got that down right there. We got our tank, seat and everything. We got the motor up there, which we might use, we might not use. I know we're not gonna use that exhaust. It's busted, somebody welded it up. But there it is. There is the build breakdown for our Apollo project. It wasn't too stressful. It wasn't too exciting either, but we got it done. Just like that, guys, this is going to be it for today's video. We got everything accomplished that we wanted to accomplish today. I might take some of that knickknack stuff that's left on there off. Um, for now, I'm going to go and try to figure out what color scheme I want to go with. I might go grab some paints and stuff. I might paint it off camera. I might paint it on camera. But that concludes today's video. Thank you guys for watching. I appreciate you for all who've returned, and I appreciate all of you who are new to the channel. If you haven't already, subscribe. Give this video a thumbs up. Share it if you want, and uh, stay tuned for part two of this. I will see you guys in the next one.